So before we start diving deep into C Python in internals, it makes sense for us to get everything set up. So in this video, I'll be walking you through with a very basic C Python setup and we'll be making our first change and basically building our own Python around it. So uh, uh, the code of so the code of Python, which is C Python, is hosted on GitHub uh, and it can be found out in repository https colon slash slash github dot com slash python slash C Python. Uh, in this, so what obviously what you would have to do it is you have to clone the repository. So over here, I have cloned the repository and I have opened it in my in my Visual Studio code. You can find detailed uh, you can find detailed setup instructions uh, by visiting this link, which is https colon slash slash devguide dot python dot org slash setup. But in case if you are using uh, either Mac or Ubuntu, uh, the setup is fairly straightforward. So over here what I have done is I have cloned the repository. I am on my master branch. What I will do it is I will just run dot slash configure uh, and and make. That's it. That's all we have to do. Uh, dot slash configure will actually pull in and ensure that all the dependencies that are required for you to run the setup, all the, all the basic stuff, it's there and the make command will execute the make file and will at the end will build the entire uh, and basically it will build uh, the python executable right on the macintosh or on ubuntu what's a little weird is if you are using mac uh, the executable which is built it's built in the current directory with a dot exe extension something which is similar what we see in uh, the windows setup so as an output of make also you will find uh, dot slash python dot exe is how you would be running the executable so with this sort of setup, both and next up. So if you see over here, it's trying to check for all the dependencies. It takes some time. Uh, it takes about close to two to three minutes for it to check if everything's what's required for the library fits there or not. And then our make would kick in, which would build a binary from the source code that we have. And uh, that's the best part about it. Once all of this process is done the binary which is built is built from this very source code right what does this imply it means that if we start if we start altering the source code and we start building things again what we would see it is we would actually see the binary built from our changes so altering any changes and rebuilding it using make command so uh, no that we don't really have to run dot slash configure every time it's just the one time setup and then for every change you do, you have to run make. Uh, so what we'll do it is, uh, uh, since everything is there, uh, since the make and uh, the command ran successfully, now what I'll do it is, uh, I'll just run dot slash python dot exe. So once I run dot slash python dot exe, it opened up a python shell. And now this python dot exe was built from the source code that we have. Okay, so from this very source code. In order to test it, what we'll do is we'll make our first change uh, with me. Uh, so what should we do is we should open the file. Uh, we should open the file python.c. Open, we'll open the file python.c present in the folder programs. While we do that, we find the main function, which is uh, typically how any C program would start. So we find this main function and what we do, we add a print f, right? And I'll just say it's arpits python and a slash n. Now, if I rebuild this, if our hypothesis is true, as in uh, the binary which is built is built using this very source code, then the output of the make command, which means it would rebuild the binary, once the uh, binary is rebuilt, it should actually print f arpits python, right? So let's just see that in action. Uh, what I'll do it is I'm running python.exe, correct. And the first thing that it print is arpits python. Oh, I, I did a typo, so it's okay. Let me rebuild this again so that I get a closure. And I run make. It It doesn't take really long the next time, right? It just takes a little time during the first run. But then it's just very quick. So that then when I do python.exe, I see arpits python being printed in the first thing because the code execution starts from main. Uh, the first thing it runs is printf and then the usual python stuff that it does. Okay. 
so this actually completes the thing so we have c so this in, uh, so this implies that we have c python set up locally it uh, and the and we are able to build binary out of the source code and able to make our first change right so once you also reach this particular point it means you are all set to explore uh, c python internals by actually altering the code and just basing and just understanding things on its own uh, so that is it for this video in the next one what we'll be doing it will be changing so we'll be making our first change in the python's grammar so we'll be altering the python's grammar in order to make uh, in order to get rid of a syntax error although it's not a good thing but it will be fun to do so so uh, uh, just to give you a little glimpse there is an operator that does not run in isolation but we would alter the grammar so that it runs right uh, we'll be going through a bit of uh, python grammar will be making a very simple change and uh, we'll be getting rid of a syntax error so yeah yeah basically that's it for this video uh, if you guys like this video give this video a thumbs up uh, if you like the content obviously please subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next one thanks a ton